where do you think the regulations are more favorable for autonomous vehicles, the U.S. or China? Right now, I, I have to say that in the U.S., also in terms of regulation, it's also lead the way, simply because the industry has already developing for almost 10 years. And, you, uh, and in China, it's catching up, both in the technically and also in terms of regulation. So James, as you look at this, this technology, from a technology perspective, as Dee mentioned, you're both over in the US and China. What have you learned from operating these, these robo-taxis projects? What are some of the big challenges right now for driverless car technology? Well, I think the biggest challenge is all of us. It's the, rail, it's the other vehicles, it's the pedestrians and the bicyclists on the road that behave a lot of times irrational and that makes the AI hard to pr predict all of us behavior on the road. I think that is remain to be the biggest hurdle. How far away are we then from seeing fully autonomous vehicles on the road in either place? Well, we have already seen a uh, uh, small pilot efforts. Mainstream, uh, in the wild. Mainstream in the in wild. The wild. <laughs> if I have to give a Number, I, I'll say probably in five years. Uh, what we'll, we'll definitely say, say a, a wide adoption of the autonomous driving vehicles, fully autonomous driving vehicles on the open roads. James, I do want to get your thoughts into what the industry is thinking about this technology, though, because it's clearly something that's extremely hype. There's a lot of excitement around it, no doubt. But I, I was reading some comments very recently from the CEO of Daimler, uh, and he said that Daimler is reassessing itself. It's having a reality check on driverless cars, it's right-sizing, he, he quotes, his investment in this area. Is the industry looking at this technology and perhaps not seeing it living up to, to what at first it was promised? Well, I think it's, it's the similar as all the other advancements or developing of the, the new technology. It's always up and down. Uh, as far as we have seen, it's, it's progressing slowly but steadily. Uh, I think uh, different companies might have a different assessment. Is it turning out to be, and I think this is what Arjun's getting at, more expensive than perhaps some players thought in the beginning? At the beginning, every, everything is expensive at the beginning, right? It's always the economy of scale that will push down the price. Is that pushing some of the players out, though, the costs of it? Uh, I think the cost, the, uh, the, the, the hard to scale, and also the ability to handle all the extreme cases will definitely have some companies losing out. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.